Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about exclusion ratio in a fixed annuity policy. So basically, if you own a fixed annuity policy, then you uh, start uh, taking monthly payment uh, or you, your policy get annuitized. So basically, you get a periodic payment, right? In that situation, most of the times, your annuity is has been grow for years then you have uh, basically your original principal then have an earning part so your monthly uh, payment will contain uh, partially is your principal partially is uh, earnings so that means the earnings will be taxed then the exclusion ratio is used to determine which part is not taxed then the rest will be, uh, you know, taxed. So basically, say exclusion ratio is used to determine the long taxable part of the each annuity payment when a long qualified fixed uh, annuity contract is annuitized. First of all, uh, have to, uh, you know, know is we determine the long taxable part. So. You can figure out the third taxable part by you know the the monthly payment minus the the long taxable part, right? Another thing you need to pay attention. This is only applied to long qualified annuity. Means you uh you buy with after tax money, then grow tax deferral all those years. So some annuity was bought in their uh you know retirement account that's taxed differently. So that's keep in mind here. Then we specify is fixed annuity, uh because uh this exclusion ratio is only for fixed annuity because for variable annuity you can find the excluded amount. Uh, rather than ratio. So I'm going to talk about a uh, variable annuity excluded amount uh, later in different video. So uh, then you have to know is you have to take a periodic payment or annuitized, you know, periodic payment. So if you take a a lump sum or if you, um, you know, take a, a non-periodic payment basically you take a lump sum a small lump sum here small lump sum there is not periodic payment in that situation they are taxed differently as well so just uh, keep in mind this is only apply to non-qualified fixed annuity that is annuitized okay which is periodic payment so that's just to keep in mind so, okay, let's see an example, see how this um, exclusion ratio works. You can see, assume Andrew purchased an annuity contract for $360,000 that provides it for payment of the $2,000 per month. Assume that his life expectancy is 20 years at the time of payment up. Uh, are to begin. The total expected return on the contracts is $480,000. Uh, so you can see here uh, how, how they get their $480,000 is $2,000 per month, 12 months, then you times 20 years. So basically that's that called expected return. You will say original you purchase price, that's your principal is $360,000, right? So then you're going to find out the exclusion ratio. Basically, your principal, your principal is $360,000. Then you expect it to get $480,000. So then you will get 75% uh, exclusion ratio. So basically, say your monthly payment is $2,000, 75% of it, which is $1,500, is return your capital. So it's your original basis. So it's not taxed. 
Well, you you were paid two thousand dollar per month. Fifteen thousand um, fifteen hundred is not taxed. So the five hundred is taxed. So five hundred dollar has to be included in your uh taxable income and、uh, to be taxed. So that's how the uh exclusion uh ratio works. Then we want to look at it. You were saying, you know, my each month I get a fifteen hundred is not taxed. So then it, annually I'm time twelve. Then I'm time twenty. So twenty years. So will give me total amount three hundred sixty. So you can, uh, you can see here. So when you do this, this. When you do this with this expectancy, life twenty years, you will get all your uh got get you all your basis your original capital back, right? So you can see that. So that's it. Um. So life expectancy. So basically, uh, IIS has a table, so you can use that table to. Uh, to figure out what's your life expectancy in this calculation. Uh, however, you know that is not perfect prediction. So, what if you live beyond twenty years, right? Uh, what if you live uh, you know, shorter than twenty years, right? So, I'm gonna uh talk about this. Let's see if you live beyond twenty years. Then how you are, you still receive, um, you know, two thousand dollar per month. Then how you gonna tax? Well, turn out it's a little complicated. So that was basically that was a law change. Um,、uh, so in nineteen eighty six, so basically say, annuitize the before December thirty first, nineteen eighty six. It's different. Uh, from the after December thirty first, nineteen eighty two. So the starting date refers the date that contract is annuitized. In other words, it is when the periodic payment begin under the annuity contract. So basically, say you, you know, if you older enough, then you own the annu uh annuity uh contract then. You start annuitize that annuity is before, uh, before December nineteen uh thirty first nineteen eighty six. I think most of the people maybe uh you know um, is after. So if you are before, you are lucky. Let's see. If before nineteen eighty six. So your annuity contract is that annu annuitized before this one, the exclusion ratio is applied to for uh to all the future payment, even if the annuitant outlives their life expectancy. We, at the previous example, we say if you are <coughs> life expectancy, you live exactly twenty years, so you will get a four. Uh, your principal back, right? Uh, if if you li live beyond that, so you you still you know you receive two thousand dollar per a month, then that that still treat a portion is um you know portion is taxable, portion is not taxable, but you will see your full principal is already recovered, uh, but you know then. The IS didn't, you know, care back then, so they basically said, "Well, just continue use the exclusion ratio. We, you only, uh, you know, your two thousand dollar income only five hundred dollar, uh, five hundred dollar is taxed. So in that situation, if you were lucky, had your, uh, you know, uh, policy was annuitized." Before the December thirty first, nineteen eighty six. However, most people they had their policy. Then after, 
uh, December 31st, 1986. You can see here if you annuitized after this date, then your exclusion ratio applied to the payment only within life expectancy. The entire annuity payment is taxable if the annuitant outlives their life expectancy or their investment in the contract has been recovered. So you can see, so this is applied to most the people, you know, because, um, say, you know, in the previous example, say your $2,000 is the payment. Now you live beyond two. 20 years, right? Your monthly payment $2,000 now is fully taxable. You have to include in your monthly payment uh, all of them in your uh, taxable income to be taxed. So basically the rationale from IIS said, well, you already recovered uh, your four uh, principal your original capital so now the everything is earning so you have to pay the tax on the full amount so that's just the same thing you need to know um that just uh, not fair because when you get older then you were like okay we suddenly get hit this tax bill so anyway so that's just uh, keep in mind how these things works and um, so to summarize, if you are lucky, you annuitize your policy before 1986. So your entire life income is partially taxable, partially non-taxable. So if you is after 1986, so within the life expectancy is partially taxable, partially non-taxable, then beyond life expectancy, entire payment are taxable so that's just the current law so let's see that's what we talk about if you live beyond the expectancy we talk about that fully taxable unless the annuity payment is beginning or before the uh, December 31st 1986 so this is something we just talk about when you live beyond the 20 years uh, life expectancy, right? What if you, if you die before the 20 years? If you die, like, uh, you know, uh, after you annuitize, you die within, you know, 10 years later. So what, what happened to that? They say uncovered basis is deductible on the annuitant's final income tax return as the miscellaneous items. Deduction not subject to 2% EGI flow. Okay, so basically say the basis, let's say you, you know, you 360, so after 10 years, you still have 180. So 180, so they say can include in your final income tax return for the deduction. So you won't pay tax on those things. Uh, so this this basically, um, so that's how they uh, treated this. Uh, 